Harvey here. This is going to be a fast video and you can ask questions and I'll try to explain. But all right, down here somewhere, it doesn't matter where. It does if you want to verify your cable is connected to your uh, transmission. You will uh, follow the cable up, verify it's there. What we have here, we got an auto park failure. Um, of course, we all know about the auto park. It's up there. It's not on yet. So first things first, grab your fuse, verify you've got a good fuse. It's supposed to be a 20. I just put a 15 in there because I was burning up fuses for a minute. All right, so you'll, you'll see where this goes. I'm going to fire up the engine, and down below I'm going to talk to you. At, well, I'm going to do a test, and then I'm going to get the engine fired up. Let's fire it up now. And there's my dreaded auto part. Um, I can put it, and I'm going to show you why it moves temporarily, and and um, and why the auto part kicks in and off, in and out. What you're going to see is that the auto part is doing literally what I just said. It's kicking in and out. I'm going to turn off the engine now. I'm going to get someone else to start it up while I'm underneath for there. Keep in mind, you're going to keep your foot on the brake because this thing can still move. All right, I think I can get enough view there. Let's talk about a few things here. These are the actuators. This one, there's one up here. This is a, um, a, um, a valve, if you will. And I'll show, try to show it to you after the fact. This valve up here um, is just screwed on with a nut and it's electronically activated. It's electronically activated with that part there, with this um, with this activator, if you will. Let me see how this looks with that. Oh shit! I can't see. Great. I'm recording anyway. So this will get power. They will open this pump. They will open. Will, will divert the uh, fluid from this from this storage bin with your proper fluid levels this pump will activate down this line here this will also tell it to um, here's the pressure here the pressure in here um, tells this that tells this once the pressure builds up in here it tell this this switch is what it amounts to tells uh, the uh, the parking system up top that it's been wor it's working um, the hydraulic pressure in here acts like a ram and that ram pushes this forward the cable releasing the parking brake right now the parking brake is on to release it um, the ram's going to push this forward and take the tension off of this cable if you were just to cut this cable you released your brake the problem is um, you've also created a problem with your, uh, your your car can roll back so an emergency you probably you could cut that and that's under prep tension so uh, I think it would stay in here I think it would whiplash outwards or maybe stay within here if you had to cut it to get yourself on the road immediately and then you'd have to replace this cable of course into here and it's an expensive fix but you know you would get off that you would be back on the road again uh, but you would have to chuck, chuck your tires. That, that's only a theory I have. They break the cable, and it just makes sense to me because that's how this system is released. This ram comes forward, releasing the system there. Now, with that said, would the uh, parking brake system not? All right, let's go from here now. So this will get power first. Right now, there's no power down here into the into here, and I'm going to show you all this as soon as I set my tester up this in my mouth but I can't talk I'll put it in my mouth but you're gonna see now that there's no power here or here your power first comes into your um, great. give me a minute your power is gonna come in through your relay first and here's your relay let's see give me a second here to work this out Great. Okay, okay, great. All right, so here's your relay.
Paul. So you can see power sitting there, just waiting to be activated. I'm gonna grab that relay. My relay is good. Now I know that. But my relay is um, it might be losing contact because it appears my my uh, boot from my relay is um, melting. You see all that um, lubricant on there? That that's from that plastic from this guy. So um, it appears this might be interfering with my contacts. I'll have to evaluate that and when I get this going I'll probably have to cut all these and manually connect them, uh, get a new connector. <sighs> We're going to work on that in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is power the vehicle up, and you're going to see that there's no power. Well, there will be no power here. Just trust me, there's no power down here. Once you put it in park and drive, this one leg will get power. Um, this will energize. This will this will tell this. Uh, it, will, it will get it ready. It also energizes the uh, your pump. Your pump will start again, pushing power through the pump, through this hose. Drive that ram inside there that will release the parking brake, the, the transmission brake. Back here in the very back, again, you're looking at a, a, a diverter, if you will. It may be an overflow when the, when the fluid comes back. When you put it in park, it's got to come back into the tank. Um, this will release this, this cam up here. Releases, so now the direction of flow goes back in. It loses pressure inside the system, which then, of course, energizes the brake which it is energized right now. It's, it's, it's spring-loaded. It's, it's hydraulically loaded. It's pulled backwards. Um, so, once again, what do we have? We can have switch, switch, a pump. You know the pump's working when you see your hydraulic ram go, and I'll, and I'll show you that with the car running. Um, this is all act, acting, working, actuating. What I have going on is my pump's going in and out. It will work and then it will fail and then it will work and fail. So it's intermittently um, having problems. <sighs> so what do we have here? So these pressure thing, these pressure switches, I don't know them to to half go bad. <sighs> so th that's an issue for me. I do have an extra pressure switch times two, and I I'll do both. I'm leaning towards my um, my relay. Even though my relay is um, <laughs> that I tested to work, I'm leaning towards it. It's intermittent; that it's sending signals in and out. So um, I am going to with this with this weak ass boot melting down. So I'm going to try to replace this if I can find one, and then I'll um, plug it up. Then I'll try to replace the relay second, so I can figure out where to you know you know where exactly it's going bad. I don't think it's the pump failing. It could be the pump, um, but it, it cycles too fast. The pump does. The pump could be overheating, uh, releasing the pressure. It could be the pump is just no longer being able to maintain uh, continuous operation, which I'll get to that because, again, we're going to do relay, um, and then we're going to do um, boot, relay, and then we'll work on, um, and we'll change out switches because I have the extra switches. Um, these switches aren't typically test, don't test the same way that these other oil switches test. That is putting it in the ground, give it a hot, and then put an air pressure on it. Okay, so now the vehicle started. And we've got no pump action. And that, that is where it normally is, in lock position. I don't have this, um, this connected yet. Let's go ahead and um, show you the meter reading on it. So you'll see with normal, normal, um, normal uh, off and on it. Ah, hold on, hold on. It's very difficult, very difficult. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna put it back in here, in his boot. Not to put it in park, drive rather. So the system looks like that in a, in a standing, in a standing system. It looks just like that. It looks like nothing's going on. So. Saw that. So now this gets energized. Oops. This could be bad. This could be bad. I'm going to replace it next. I have a new one of these. But let's go ahead and see if we can put it in park. And you can watch the ram. This thing ram up. doing here is I hook up a 12 volt battery to the pump and I turn it on manually with the switch 
and this will uh, show that the pump can continuously run without overheating and shutting down. The pump's on now. 12 volts. Go on to it. So this is a pump. Does not fail, does not appear to have any failure with it as far as uh, cycling issues. And it's just staying pumping. So I'm going to eliminate the pump as a problem. I'm going to say that pump is not an issue. Now I'm going to go for the uh, fuses. Okay, to the right here. This relay operated correctly. Um, but as you can see, it's got all that uh, oil on it from the uh, connector. And so I'm not sure what's going on there, but I'll just go ahead and replace the relay. It's $10. This relay it will be out of the formula as far as uh, what could be possibly wrong because I'm dumping it. And then I'll replace the boot that connects this if uh, if I still run into uh, still running into issues. Here we go, ten dollars, and and I've got to just mount this onto there. No big deal. We we'll just mount it up. Okay, let's watch this cable move. Yeah. 